It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer and today I'm reviewing a beer that's quite local to me. This is brewed in Cardiff at Ollie's Brewery and it's brewed in collaboration with Wales Ales. It's called Chocolate Chow Wow. It's going to be a stout I imagine. Yeah, a strong chocolate stout coming in at 7% ABV. Uh, Wales Ales is run by my good friend Neil. So hi Neil, how you doing? And hello to Ollie from Ollie's Brewery. Let's get this bottle, plain black bottle cap. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Cool, look at that smoke. Here it goes, look at this. Beer in the glass then, oh my goodness me. Listen to the glug, the big thick pour on this beer that looks absolutely terrific this for me looks like one of the i call it a scandinavian style stout the scandinavians for me brew the best stouts in the world imperial stout stouts tremendous tremendous beers uh, and this got all the hallmarks of a really really good looking stout two finger tan coloured head which wants to stay there forever look at the density of that head jet black beer in the glass we rock the beer back and forth look at the carbonation that slowly moves up the glass yeah it looks absolutely tremendous no light bleeding through uh, let's get the aroma oh my goodness me okay and yeah it's just amazing amazing aroma Just like a double chocolate, triple chocolate aroma. Um, a little bit of sweet caramel. Some vanilla, some coconut. A little bit of woodiness going on there as well. A little bit of woodiness in the beer. But look at that, doesn't it look tremendous? It smells tremendous. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I gotta put that down. <coughs> blimey, blimey! Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What a tremendous beer! This beer has a a tremendous development in the flavour. What you get to begin with, it's split, first of all. It's split down the middle in between two, two flavours. It starts there and then it kind of forks off in another direction. And that's quite unusual for a stout, if I'm honest. But for me, it's really interesting. Lots of quality. Ooh. Pardon me. So, to begin with, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours coming through. With the, the probable, the probable chocolate added to the beer. Let's have a look. Uh, so uh, a choice between chocolate and beer, uh, both. So they've not they've not mentioned that they've actually had added chocolate to the beer. Oh, yet yeah, they have any ingredients. Here we go: barley, oats, chocolate, yeast, hops, and water. Seven percent ABV. So you start off with that kind of slightly rich milk chocolate. If you think of a bar of chocolate, you snap a bar of Galaxy. Yeah, I'm not going to say the, the name, but I'm going to say Galaxy. Four squares of galaxy, chuck it in your mouth, let it melt. It just kind of just turns into a big, fat, gloopy mess in your mouth, doesn't it? This beer does exactly the same as that. Um, if you think of a mocha, a mocha latte coffee, have a mouthful of a, a latte coffee, big, thick, creamy, dense mouthfeel. Same with your drippy, milky caramel. That kind of does the same thing. It just kind of is sticky, it's in your mouth. And again, the beer does the same thing. So when you're thinking about the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel flavors in the beer, you need that big, thick, dense mouthfeel to be able to carry it, to be able to carry that that wonderful imagination, really, of what of what this beer evolves in your mouth. A little bit tongue-tied here. Let me have another sip. It 
I never really tongue tied. Just, it's just such a great beer. I've more or less covered it, haven't I? Drippy chocolate, fat latte coffee, four squares of galaxy, big thick mouthfeel. If you have any of them flavors, it's the same in the beer. Beer sits on the palate, releases lots of flavor all over your palate. A little bit of spring of carbonation to help push the beer around the inside of the mouth. And then, this is the second evolution of the beer, which I'm really impressed about. For me, you can get two types of stout. It's very rare you get two types of stout in one beer. It's always kind of one or the other. Or if you're lucky, you might get a little bit of something on the back end. But this is very vinous. That's what I was going with the flavor. There's a spiciness on the back end, mixed with plums and figs and prunes and raisin, dark fruits combining with that wonderful chocolate stout beginning. And you would never guess that it was 7% ABV because you don't really get any kind of burn from the alcohol. Uh, I'm seven miles outside of Cardiff. Um, I've never had an Ollie's Brewery beer before. I'm not overstating this beer because it's a local brewery to me. I'm not overstating the beer because Neil is my friend. I'm standing in front of the camera here today telling you as an independent beer reviewer who reviews beer from all over the world that this is a tremendous beer. Absolutely tremendous beer. Ollie's Brewery Chocolate Chow Wow 7% ABV. I'm gonna rate it. Still holding its head, look at that. Still got a good head. As you look at the, look at the fantastic conditioning on the beer as you rock it back and forth. Ollie's Brewery, not been on my radar. They will be on my radar from now on. Uh, if they carry on brewing beers like this, then they've got a massive, massive bright future. Uh, for me, this is, this is just tremendous. Well done, Neil Long. Um, I'm going to give this a stonking 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.